So you know when you get your taxes done and you see that you're getting a fairly decent refund back and you're like, okay, cool. Everything seems to be going good right now. I don't have a job, so this money is going to really help me in paying my bills for the next month. Well, about a week goes by and then you realize you get a letter from a taxation and finance um, place for the state that you previously previously lived in. And apparently they were submitted information that was not right. However, when I looked at my paperwork, everything was right. So when I talked to the guy, he told me to go to a very specific page and look at a very specific spot. And I look and my paperwork has nothing in that spot. Their paperwork that they were submitted has stuff in that spot. Now, here's, here's the, uh, what's it called? Um, here's the series of events that happened. I lived in Buffalo for my entire life. I moved six months ago to where I live now in Massachusetts. So I'm like, okay, cool. Taxes are going to probably be a pain in the ass this year, but I figured it would have been somewhat simple. Cool. I have proof of where I lived. I have proof of my W-2s, my 1099, all that shit. So I, uh, I'm looking and I find H&R Block. So I contact him, set up a meeting, and the guy kind of had a rude attitude telling me to speak up, even though I was already speaking quite loud. So apparently the guy couldn't fucking hear. So I'm like, okay. Cool, whatever. So I show up, and they put me with somebody that, after a little bit, doesn't sound like they know what the fuck they're doing. And I'm like, okay, cool. But they wouldn't be working here if they screwed up on a regular basis. Well, because I lived in one state for the majority of last year and then moved, they had to have a tax expert that understood, you know, New York State taxes as well as Massachusetts standard uh, taxes. They told me I would know by the uh, the latest the following day that my taxes were done. Fast forward about a fucking week, and I've called them like three times like, yo, where's my tax information? Because we're getting kind of close to the wire here. Now, it wasn't my fault that I had to wait to do my taxes. My previous employers in New York just didn't get around to fucking sending my stuff out. So I finally received that and I set up my appointment right away. So that's not on me. That was on them. So anyways, after that, I signed the paperwork and like, I don't know what I'm looking at on tax information. Everything looked right. So I signed it. Well, I've been waiting for about a week. Now I'm currently unemployed. So I was really counting on this fucking money. So I show up. No, I'm sorry. Not this letter shows up saying that I need to give all this information for an IT 203 and uh, a bunch of other crap, or I need to complete an IT 360.1 or blah, 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 blah. It's just a bunch of numbers to me and things that I need to prove stating that I lived at some point in New York City. The only thing I can think of is I've never lived in New York City. Why would I have to submit information for that? So I called the, the taxation and finance people. They told me that their paperwork said one thing. My paperwork said another. Yeah, so then I just got off the phone with uh, one of the ladies over at H&R Block, explained the situation, and they charged me $320 to get my taxes done. And they fucked it up. And now when I asked her, are you guys going to charge me again to redo my taxes that you guys screwed up? She couldn't give me a definite answer. I'm like, it's really screwed up if you're going to charge me to redo an amendment to my taxes that you guys screwed up. And she goes, well, more than likely you aren't going to end up having to pay. That doesn't matter. The simple fact that I'm probably going to end up having to pay something or the... 
chance that I'm going to have to pay something for the fact that you guys screwed up is, is messed up. And the person that they're having me redo my taxes with is the person that fucked them up in the first place. So I'm looking at their paper, the paper that I came here. We sign and stand behind every return we prepare. The so, uh, let's see here. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. 100% accuracy. Maximum refund. Yeah. That's not how that, that's, that's not at all. That's not at all what the fuck I've experienced here. And quite frankly, H&R Block, you should be fucking ashamed. Because even when she was reading the paper to me, telling me what my refund and what I was going to have to pay was, she was telling me the wrong numbers while looking at the numbers. And not just off by a little bit. I'm talking like off by almost a hundred bucks with some of with some of the stuff. That's that's not that's not good. That's not good at all. So they either need to check their goddamn filers, or they need to change their satisfaction, accuracy, and refund guarantees. Because I'm I am none of those. <laughs> none of those happened. So, just as a heads up to anybody that uses H&R Block, make sure to double check your shit when you get it, because this is ridiculous.